just yet. Maybe now? I'll have to tell sometimes of the x-ray. I don't know. I don't think he's seen anything. Oh, <laughs> what's turned around? This is, okay, someone will look now. So much potential in this one. Oh, Neelan's caught with a grenade in his hands. Right warning for Apex on this V-Pump site, but it will still be lost. Casaniso will make his way into market. Look at the numbers out somewhat. It's Acor. Didn't quite take the shot there. That's certainly going to be a boon for Apex now in a four-on-two situation. Eyes off for Cayman Legion. Their turn to enjoy the luxuries of a early five-on-four. Some spotting from kicks. And it's still a minute 30 here for Cayman Legion, but through the smoke they go. Well, they're late to come through after Vault as well, but Kicksand will be dropped at the very least. Now Nork's posting up with an angle. And down goes Neelan. Three versus two. Nork can really have some big impacts here. Acor standing top mid at present. I think he's heard the rotation from Seiko as well. But as well, no one's showing just yet. And at some point, someone's got to plant the bomb, which means there'll be only two people here to defend. You see Nork threatening to emerge now. The fake plants are coming through. Isaac stuck in the corner. It only gets more awkward for Gamer Legion, but he dropped the right for Cassini, Cassini. So, and there goes Jacob as well. Suddenly, it's just down to not going for the flicks there on Palace. Not an easy round for Gamer Legion here. And not over just yet either. Nork looking for that second. Right, Gamer Legion will want that one back. Five on three goes against them. And now Acor gets them another man advantage. It's a great early frag. And they're looking to find some momentum in this. But Kickstand is in position. Sassanito is here as well already. So this is very well defended. They sent the Pistoleros in to... Try and make a play there. Oh, I thought that was another one for Acor. Denied on this occasion. Isaac will get the AWP at the very least. But then there were two. Really good awareness of the sort of round they were going to be up against. Now in this one, finally the gun round. Back out for Gamer Legion. Got to get something going here. They've lost the last four in a row. Things are pushing through the apartments. That's not what... ...around like that. And there's potential for it to have a dramatic impact on the shape of the remainder of this half. Because if they are to lose this round, especially by elimination, I wouldn't be surprised to see eight rounds for Gamer Legion. So there's a lot riding on Rifle Swing out on the other ones. Oh boy. Oh, just like that. Wonderful process and protocol from Gamer Legion making their way into the A bomb site. Those are the kind of movements you wanted to see in that awkward one where they went for that execute in the five on three. Isaac holding down the rotation as well. Nowhere to hide for Apex, really. Combined $100 between these two players. Now a little more. But again, devastation as... Awkward for Acor now. Again, anything to focus away. The bait works perfectly as Vault. Well, actually, Acor got dropped there as well. I'm supposed to be one to the good for Gamer League. Early flash for Neela. That's effective. Heels with the flash assist. A man advantage found for Gamer Legion. Jacob is hard scoped on this angle with the Org. He's praying that someone peeks him. But look at Gamer Legion on the minimap. They are all stacked around mid. And these fights will be coming to them shortly. Keels with another kill. And suddenly, Gamer Legion look like they might run away. Jump out. Sassanito gets away with it. He is on fire right now. He is on a tear. Jacob will get taken down in reply. We'll see if Apex decide to make any moves. Towards the CT position, though. Isaac's got to make sure he keeps his gun out. Neelan will stop Seiko. Running out of bullets, though, but the angles are here. They've got the numbers in the right places. That's Seiko got something to say, but only five HP for him now and three more to find. Self. Did he spot Kios? I'm not sure. He's still looking on different angles and now jumps to his doom. Stiko's still doing what he can, but the bomb is in. That bomb seems to be creeping towards A while Jacob's walking into B at the same time as Nork is walking into A. And there's time to rotate that bomb. Jacob gets a kill on that B bomb side. Try their luck early. Utility on mid, but A4 will be posted up and he misses the mark. Oh, that's brutal. Showing presence of the Orp where The second Orp will be lost as well. That's $16,000 down the drain. Thirty seconds. He's buying time for the rotation now. Neelan's here already. Was he spotted by Nork? Getting tagged. 
holding an impressive angle of the ball. Oh, he's just looking going towards ramp though. And timing will betray once again. Oh, my connection's going a bit weird, but there's a lot of frags on this A bomb site, leaving Acor and Neelan in a two versus three. They will look to make that work. Dior's looking for the second and finding it. Top connects are big advantages for Game of Legion. Looking to take the lead early and surely they will in the second half of overtime. Kicksand one versus five. Big frags from mid for Game of Legion. Abusing the smoke from Neelan. HG on the way. Four players remain for Apex to make it a four and four before that bomb gets started. Jacob showing presence. Top connects are not for long though. Zizek is here to drop him. Bolt playing close, playing a dangerous game. That bomb is still not planted. neeland has been dropped. Bombs on the floor now. We find ourselves in a three on three. Two CTs around this smoke by triple. Tassinito got one kill and he's lurking by that ramp position. That's not going to be solved, it looks like, by Gamer Legion as he comes back to drop Isaac. And now Volt finds himself dropped by Tassinito, who clutches again four kills from the. Feels like this round's just getting started, though. That could be a big frag. Sassanito drops early, but can he survive Kios? They're a flashback. They're going to swing. They're going to punish. Shake him and kicks in stereo frag for Gamer Legion. And this might just be it for them. Stiko, one versus five, made four. And that's not going to last very long. Gamer Legion, though, he's in behind. How many? He gets the first for free, but the other players have already rounded the corner. That nade could be good. It oh finishes off Nealon. And Jacob's still alive. He is causing oh, great timing on the flash to no avail though. Sassanito is still running hot. The defense is looking solid right now. I don't see them winning this. First flash is avoided on Monster. There's the bomb spotted. Two kills from Vault, but how much time is there to clear the rest? He is heading towards Connector. Oh, no, the timing's not going to work out. Oh, that's brutal. He was there for so long. 37 seconds. Bomb heading towards Connector. What do you make of that information? A calls towards long, but he's on the opposite side of the map to the bomb. So does he try and pull a fake? Does he try and pull CTs towards that A bomb site? But with Jacob's position as well, there's so many questions to be asked. 20 seconds. That bomb heading towards Monster. Kios drops. How does Acor have a part to play in this one? Neelan's been seen. That's all the information they need. And down goes the bomb. They know there were grenades towards A. Uh... See Jacob always wanting a fight, but this time he's finally traded. Kixan is picking up the slack immediately, though. He could flank relatively early. And of course, you're not going to be straight onto the bomb site because you're going to have to clear their positions. They may read a commitment to that. Oh. He was taking B short control for now. Hello. Oh. That's a good start from Stiko. AK recovered. Cutting the side path of the smoke now. Oh, the P250. Well, if they can be successful in the seat on this pistol, then maybe they can show us why this was picked because we're still waiting to see that at the moment. A big pop flash. And so far, so very good for Gamer Legion. Looking sharp immediately. And it's going to be a shooting gallery for him, but there will be a trade. Question of how much damage they can do for Apex. Probably him trying to get a bomb plant here. That may or may not happen. Neelan still in a good position to buy time for that rotation. We see a second man coming through. Bomb's not planted for him, and Neelan has a kit. Neelan has the only kit, as Acor will show some presence. Nork has half the info now as Neelan's changed his position. See that face is happening. Oh, Nork! Oh, he was so close to that. I can't believe you even got Acor in the first place. They're really... Going on a solo mission with this AK, but look at that off angle from Vault. Very hard to clear that. The AK's gone, and Gamer Legion looking very good to take the lead. But down he goes. The numbers are dwindling for Apex. There are kits for three of the four Gamer Legion players, and they're all in the water. Apex going down one by one. And these numbers will swarm and trade. A wipeout. Three survive for Gamer Legion as they move to 14. I mean, that's one of the upsides, Gamer. Nobody home. And with that in, they try to go. Jacob stuck behind the volley. Shrapnel coming their way. Look at the su support flashes for Gamer Legion as well. Two frags. Spinning to this round. Jacob in the clutch has got to get around the corner. Completely blind now. Kios, full health, will deliver. I thought Gamer Legion were posturing for a save and instead they win the match. A two versus four. Oh, Utterly oh, crazy Apex. scenes.
brutal. But Gamer Legion, what a performance from these guys. A massive comeback on that second half. And honestly, it sums it up nicely. Even when they were down, they found ways back into these...